My name is Morten Paulsen. I'm the head of research at CLSA in Japan. At this year's Japan Forum, we will showcase six themes top of mind for investors. Keep watching for more information. This is the perfect time for visiting Japan. We've just had Warren Buffett in, and he's just been making his first investments outside the US. We've also had the, uh, the new incoming CEO of the Tokyo Stock Exchange, CEO Yamaji, reading out the riot act to Japanese companies, telling them a name and shame that they must improve returns or explain how they're going to do better. On Tuesday, we have another important theme for Japan, Japan reopening. Japan has reopened its door on October 2022. Chinese visitors are yet to come back. We have many different industries benefiting, but we expect some shift from shopping to entertainment and accommodations. So on Wednesday, we have another important theme, which is China reopening. As you know, China is a very important country for many uh, various sectors and companies in Japan. We'll have various CEOs from companies such as cosmetics or brewers. We'll also have some people on the ground to give us the latest insight. On Wednesday, we'll talk about reshoring and the manufacturing renaissance. Reshoring isn't a new theme. In the global manufacturing sector, we're seeing two fundamental changes. First, manufacturers are actively looking to diversify the supply chain. Second, governments in the US and elsewhere are much more supportive of the industry. On Thursday, we have another theme, which is labor shortage. Japan has a shrinking working population. It's expected to lose 8 million workers over the next eight years. This implies 1.1% negative CAGR, so there is definitely opportunity opportunities for recruiting companies as well as uh, m and opportunities. Within energy policy, energy security has remained Japan's apex principle for decades. The current environment has served only to highlight Japan's inherent energy-related vulnerabilities. At the Japan Forum, we look to tackle some of the tough energy-related questions and challenges faced by Japan together with the opportunities that come with energy transition.